Mike, we're here at the AFRC, and today you're partnering a, a number of people, including Matt Sora. You know, what's the component we're making here? It's a prosthetic knee joint. Um, this is a, a natural part. We've made this in uh, stainless steel. The part is generally a, a titanium stabilized stainless steel, so it's a very difficult material to work with. Mm -hmm. And what tools are being used on, on, on this knee? So we're using our five flute mirage. Um, there's a six mil, a 12 mil, and a 16 mil. So roughing out, the, this is a, a finished product at the moment. Um, that's a, in, the, in the machine at the moment is a rough version ready to be finished. Um, and we're also using our barrel tool, which is skimming over the top basically to produce the finish, which is a superb finish that the customer is very, very happy with. And I know you're using drag milling. You know, for the people at home, what's drag milling? Uh, it's, a, it's a term that we've uh, come up with recently because rather than pushing the end mill down the surface to get the finish, we've dragged the, the end mill up in the five axis movement. So it gives a very, very good finish. And what software has been used? We use OpenMind software. It's something that our quick cam uh, John Butler uses. So we work very, very close with, with um, OpenMind on the Hypermill. Um, we've actually had this well program with our partner in Northern Ireland, uh, Ryan McClure. So as medical industry is very important for us at the moment. It's a big, big development for us. Yeah, and, and barrel mills, lots of people are talking with, about them, but it, it, do our real life applications, you are selling barrel mills. Yes, we're selling them. Yeah, we do a lot of export barrel uh, tools as well at the moment. People send them back for regrind, which is a, well, we call it remanufacture, of course. So we take the tool back to a new tool, send it back. So that's very good. It's an application specific uh, tool. You know, it's, people have got to start looking at it. You need a, a decent software, so OpenMind is ideal for us. Five axis, there is three plus two at the moment, it's just being developed. We are doing some semi-finishing with it as well and getting some very interesting uh, results. So we now we've got a, a Mazak five axis then in our tech center, and that's opened up possibilities for us to develop strategies, also develop tooling around that, and, and other tooling, so it's different to cordial milling, feeling, cuts and also lollipops as well. And I know your members here at the ARFRC, what, what other tools have you got on show? So we're running our lollipops and our Cayman uh, through Hypermill software again on the DMG, so that's working very well there. We're also on the hybrid where it's additive machining, where they needed to uh, take the level down and uh, finish. So we used our Spectre high feed on there. And the, the interesting part of there, there's, there's basically three different hardnesses. So when you get to the center of the hardness, it's up to 65 rock gold or something like that. So it was difficult to, to understand which kind of tool we use, but the high fee worked absolutely fantastic. So you, is this working well for you, the AFRC, Pride Partners? It's a, it's a great, great place for us. We're really pleased to be involved um, with these and the LMLC, so the composite side as well. Yeah, we, um, it's great to support these training centers and these, these development areas in Scotland as well. It's, it's, a, it's a very interesting place for us for showcasing what we do, but also working on the partnerships. So for example, here with Matt Zero, with Nikon, with OpenMind, um, it's, it's something we're gonna be working on year on year, no worries.